Hello, I'm Woodrow Wilcox, and next to me is Mr. William Borman. Mr. William Borman's wife died in November. Uh, Mr. Borman, you've had several problems with Medicare-related uh, matters since your wife died, is that correct? That's correct, yes. And uh, he brought one of those matters to my attention today. I work as a problem resolution officer at the largest senior citizen-oriented insurance agency in the Midwest. One of these items was uh, he just got a bill from a medical service provider and the bill is for over fourteen hundred dollars and I contacted the insurance company of his deceased wife uh, Medicare did not give them the complete bill for them to work on Medicare only forwarded them information on seven hundred dollars of the bill not the entire fourteen hundred dollars of the bill so I've written a letter to the medical service provider saying please send the original bill along with the Medicare um, Medicare um, uh, information MEO to the insurance company of the gentleman's deceased wife and that should take care of that matter but on another matter which happened uh, earlier this year Mr. Rowan brought uh, information to me about some people at Medicare trying to say that he owed some money but the letter itself did not really state clearly how much money was owed, uh, perhaps overpaid for his wife, and they wanted it back. And here's part of the letter that I wrote. Uh, also, your letter states, please see the enclosed attachment for description of the overpaid accounts. Please include a copy with your payment. And then I said, but there was no explanatory attachment with the letter. And then I put, there's a limited time for appealing an adverse decision. Your letter is unfair to our client because it did not state an intelligible amount and it did not provide an attachment with a description of the problem. Please correct and resend whatever message you intended to send and allow the full appeal time period to run from the time our client receives the complete and intelligible letter. Uh, so far, I have not received any response from Medicare to get this matter corrected. Uh, Mr. Borman, have you received any response from Medicare to get the matter corrected? No, I have not. So this is an example of how Medicare people just simply make their own rules, are not fair to senior citizens, put limitations on them, say that they owe money, don't send a complete bill, and I just simply am letting you know that uh, these are some of the reasons why I keep saying the Medicare system is not working for senior citizens, the Medicare system is cheating. Uh, senior citizens.